Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. For the first time in an entire year. Dragon Ball Legends PvP. Let's go, boys. Now, disclaimer real quick. Vegito is not arts boosted throughout most of these fights. I believe the first video, the first video, the first match you see in this video, and then the last couple in the videos, like the last three or four, they do have their strike card arts boosted. And the same goes for Android 18. Uh, she will not be arts boosted either. This is the team we're running, by the way. Uh, double support, double Zenkai buff for Vegito. Uh, Shin is not getting two of the Z abilities here, and his equipment sucks. To be fair, everyone's equipment sucks, but it's been an entire year. Give me a break. But the team is actually fantastic. Genuinely, I just got done finishing every other part of this video. Um, obviously, these intros are actually the last thing I record, so this team is good. <laughs> I just wish I had a better option than Shin. I mean, not a better one. Like, Shin is fine, but whatever. Also, one more disclaimer. I'm not in God rank. I I'm going to mention this multiple times throughout the video. Not in God rank, but I'm also not low ranked. I did do a bunch of practice matches, but while I am decently ranked, it has also, again, been an entire year since I played PvP, so I suck, and I don't use Shin properly. <laughs> so don't yell at me for being bad at the game. It's been an entire year. I'm working off muscle memory alone here. So, without further ado, let's get into the matches. I truly don't think you guys understand just how long it's been since I've done one of these, so I apologize if I suck at doing commentary as well. But we're starting out with the good old fusion team. We got the new Gogeta, the new, or not the new, the old Vegito. The one that made me quit Dragon Ball Legends for an entire year. Yeah, that red fucker in the middle. He's the reason. He's the whole ass reason I have not played Dragon Ball Legends in an entire year. Now look at him die. Watch him die. Good riddance, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, this team is really stupid because um, Shin doesn't really get much out of the team, but he's just here to disrupt. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I don't use him properly anyway, so it's not like it really matters. And um, 18 is a support unit, probably one of the better support units in the game, honestly, at least right now. And she works really well with Vegito. I'm going to be honest with you. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I just tossed the green card out to get rid of his vanish because at this point, I don't see how he wins. And like, obviously, I'm not in like god rank. I'm not fighting 14 star units, but I'm also not in rank 2 anymore. I did a lot of grinding to get up to a point where I was fighting respectable people with respectable teams. Some of them are still duds, obviously, but... Uh, you know, I can't pick who I fight. But we're just going to go ahead, get in here, and uh, kill the new Gogeta with this free-to-play support unit. Uh, Gogeta, you're not looking too good over there. What's going on? What, what's, what's going on? This is a free-to-play support character. What's going on, Gogeta? Aren't people saying you're like the best tank in the game right now? What, what's, what's going on? I know, I know this isn't a 14-star Gogeta, but... Um, why are you dead? Imagine getting one comboed by a free-to-play support unit as the brand new LF, even at three stars, which I actually think that Gogeta was at like six or seven. If I remember correctly, that Gogeta was at six or seven. So that's still kind of ridiculous. Also, he did not switch like I thought he was going to. Unfortunate. You'll notice that there will be cuts throughout this video as well. I don't know if I mentioned this in the intro because I haven't actually recorded the intro yet. Um, but, yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through the entirety of these boring-ass matches. <laughs> they're not boring. They're actually, they were actually pretty fun to record. But for situations like that where UI is just comboing the shit out of me, and, you know, there's not much I can really do about it, I can't really say anything about it. I guess what I can say about it is, um, Goku and Vegeta are the real tanks. Granted, they're being double Zenkai buffed, but... <laughs> With the, their ability to just heal constantly, and also me not really having to care how much damage they take, because when they fuse, they'll heal by 100%. I just let them sit there and absorb damage forever. I mean, what the hell is Rage Trunks going to do to me? That doesn't work, by the way. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. I don't, know, I don't know what you're doing. I should have swapped. I was really risking losing Goku and Vegeta there. 
I 1000% should have just switched the fuck out after I vanished, but I took a gamble and it didn't pay off, but I didn't exactly pay for it either, so... Again, those double Zenkai buffs coming in clutch. I had to run this team in order to make this unit look good, because I only have him at 5 stars, and that was only because I had residual LFZ power from a year and a half ago just sitting in my box. So, well not my present box, but I had, I had a whole bunch of different LFZ powers. Um, Shin, I do need to actually get better at using. He's a pretty decent unit with his disrupt and everything. Also, Trunks, what's going on? Vegito, what's going on? <laughs> okay, admittedly she's not doing that much damage to Vegito, but... I don't know why I didn't just throw the super out. Honestly, why didn't I just throw the super? 18 super would have killed there. I don't know why I didn't just do that. Uh, Shin's really good with his disrupt, but you really have to know how to use him. Why would you rush Shin? Please, someone explain to me why Shin was the guy that he rushed, not the better support unit or the fucking fusion. What? <laughs> Bro really wanted to just get rid of a character. I mean, you, you succeeded. Also, I do not get Vegito's rising rush counter in here a single time. Because I'm pretty sure, throughout all of these matches, I only rush once out of spite, and I'm pretty sure I do it with 18. <laughs> so... Or maybe I, I, I might rush a second time, but again, out of spite. And I believe, again, both times. If I rush twice, both times I do it with 18. So his rising rush counter is not in this, not in this video. But uh, him destroying everyone is, I can assure you that. Him just straight up beating the shit out of people is in this video. And we don't really need Shin. Honestly, I would have... It would have been better if 18 had been the one to go down since she has death buffs. Um, actually, I don't remember if Shin has death buffs too. Does he have death buffs? I'll have to look that up later. But <laughs> I know for a fact 18 does, so it would have been better if she had gone down, especially since we have a red unit in front of us. But uh, he's just going to get LF, so... And we are back with more Ultra Vegito Blue nonsense because apparently people really wanted to run him. I don't understand, but we also have our first and I think only Gohan. Thank God I did not run into Gohan a lot. Again, I'm not in like God rank or anything, so I'm not running into all the Gohan players. I'm also not in Japan, so you actually can find more than one individual in the entirety of North America who isn't using Gohan. <laughs> Um, but th these these units are actually just cracked. Uh, look at this. L like, we have... Uh, well, actually, are we type disadvantage right now? It says we are. We might still be type neutral. But <laughs> if we're not, then... Uh, what is his damage, bro? <laughs> actually, no, we don't get that type of uh, type neutrality. <laughs> we didn't even have that type of type neutrality yet. So... We just, we just beat the shit out of him for no reason. <laughs> We're supposed to have type disadvantage. I... <laughs> well, Shin's dead. No, I swap 18 in, which is probably the better option. Just so I don't lose a character. But uh, 18 is gonna... She's she gonna get blasted, alright. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay. <laughs> Again, these matches are being recorded like upwards of two days before I do the commentary. I just, I really suck at playing this game and doing commentary at the same time, and I find myself far more entertaining if I can just do post-commentary. You guys can watch the matches, listen to me, have a good old time, and tell the Ultra Vegito Blue, as well as Ultra Gohan, to go fuck themselves. Um, don't know why that just happens. Also, can someone explain to me why they thought Armor Break just on everybody was a good idea. I don't under like I I'd, I'd understand if Gohan himself just broke armor forever, but why did everybody else need to get access to that if they're on the same team as him? Go fuck yourself. I, I I'm not exactly upset at certain metas that I've missed. 
Um, there's a few. There's a few units that I would have liked to have gotten my hands on over the past year. But I will say certain metas, like when Gohan was the only one out here doing what he's doing, I am very happy I was not playing the game during that time. I would have pulled my entire afro out. <laughs> But speaking of which, he's feckin' dead. Now we're gonna kill UI Goku. Boom. <laughs> and now Vegito, why didn't I just use Blast Armor there? On God, I forget units have Blast Armor. Like, when I'm just playing through the game, I high-key just forget that these units have Blast Armor. Also, look, another LF. We will talk through this one, though. His LF is so fucking cool. <laughs> it's, it's the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot LF. A lot of people don't actually know that, which, I mean, fair, there are a decent amount of people that didn't play Kakarot because they knew it was just Dragon Ball Z again. <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball games are not exactly known for their custom stories. There's a handful of them that have them, but even when they do have custom stories, they're usually just someone fucking with the main story, like Xenoverse. It's just the Dragon Ball Z and Super story, but there's time travelers involved trying to fuck it up. So, like, yeah, I, I, I could see why you wouldn't be very interested in, um, in playing Kakarot, but that's, that, that's what is, that's what he does in the game. <laughs> Imagine bringing a non-Zenkai UI Gogu. That is so stupid, by the way. Look at this. Just instant tag switch twice. Just build up that Vegito meter, got my Vanish back, and then got Perfect Vanish, but I guess he didn't have any cards. He does have, is that triple card draw speed down? <laughs> because I kept fucking tag switching. <laughs> uh, strike cover change. I am not the least bit afraid of Orange Piccolo. We are just going to get him to revive, honestly. We're, or no, we're just going to kill Goku and Frieza. Dude, can we kill Goku and Frieza here? No, we cannot. Unless I get a super out of this, but I don't think I do. So, actually, no, he's just dead. He's just dead. <laughs> oh my god. Like, actually watching these matches back is so interesting. Because, again, these matches are recorded upwards of two days prior to when I'm doing this, as I just said. And I don't remember everything I do in these matches. This video is long as hell. I don't remember everything that I do. So being able to watch these matches back sometimes is just hilarious. Also, you want to see something else that's hilarious? Because Shin isn't getting like half the Z abilities on this team, he's about to die. <laughs> like Shin can do decent damage, but um, he ain't tanking for shit. <laughs> this non-Zenkai UI Goku is actually about to do all that damage. What was that, like 55% of his HP? non Zenkai, I think he was at like 11 stars, but that's a 2021 unit right there. It's not Shin's fault though, his equipment sucks and he's not getting like a third of the Z abilities on the team. So it's not really his fault that he can't tank for shit. He's at, actually at this point he's only at 6 stars, I didn't pull him to 8 until uh, much later. I pulled him at 8 stars, I believe, yesterday as of doing the commentary, whereas these matches were two days ago, so, yeah. <laughs> also, imagine rushing the free-to-play support unit. When are you people going to realize that Vegito's the problem? Well, I guess you're rushed anyway, but all you would have accomplished by killing 18 is made Vegito even stronger because she's got death buffs. You would have actually succeeded in doing nothing but sealing your own fate. <laughs> I don't understand why people just don't rush Vegito. But yeah, I, I rushed right back out of spite. But we don't get guessed here, so his rising rush mechanic is not in the video. I'm like, don't fucking rush me. Don't rush my A team. What's wrong with you? It's one of my favorite characters right there. Don't you rush my don't you rush one of my favorite characters. I'll rush you with my other favorite character. <laughs> you know, this really is the perfect anniversary for me. A really good Android 18 and Vegito. Literally my two favorite characters in the entire Dragon Ball franchise. 
right there on the same team helping each other out like bro <laughs> i could not have i could not have picked a better anniversary a better time in the game to return to also why is it that every time they release an 18 it's always good but they only do so like once or twice a year <laughs> i have no problem with the 18s being good just wish we'd get more of them <laughs> I will also die on the hill that 18 deserves an LF. I will die on the hill that v uh, 18 breaking Vegeta's arm is an LF worthy moment. I'd say Ultra instead of LF, but I'm probably the only person on Earth you're gonna convince to summon on an Ultra banner for an Android 18, so yeah, LF. <laughs> it'll be a short LF, maybe people won't skip it <laughs> since it'll only be like <laughs> four seconds long. <laughs> Also, I forgot UI could do that when I swapped. I didn't even do that to get him to utilize his gauge or anything. I legitimately forgot UI Goku did that. And not his gauge, but his usage of it. I, I just, I legitimately forgot he could do that. <laughs> but he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Also, Vegito, the main purpose of the video is dead. But that doesn't mean we won't still win. <laughs> Because Shin could still do some good damage, especially on this old ass fourth anniversary unit. So we're just we're just gonna go ahead, beat the shit out of this two-year-old unit. Don't know why they brought Master UI Goku. I don't remember what stars he was at, but I, it wasn't like 14 or I don't even think it was like 12 even. So yeah, he just died. I don't even know why you brought him. Genuinely, that was probably not the greatest idea. But uh Next, we have some more God Key. Uh, I'm actually very happy to see that Vegeta, but I'm very not happy to see that he's not tanking. Like, look at this. Look at this. I What is happening? We have type disadvantage. Why is he dead? Oh, here come the Gogeta boys. And here come the cards. The cards to end all cards. This is the true go cards against humanity. Why did I do that? Why didn't I switch into Vegeta, then use the green card? So I could switch back into Goku. Well, it doesn't matter, because there's another fucking green card. <laughs> the game was like, we know you just fucked up, so here you go. <laughs> uh, I really wish that hadn't been a super, but either way, we would have killed someone, so the combo would have ended anyway. I would like to point out that that was the first combo I got off, and his entire team is crippled. What is this unit? And again, again, I know, you can yell at me all day, double support, double Zenkai buff, but he's still only at five stars. <laughs> not even, he's at four. He's not even at five stars, he's at four. So, like, and again, I'm not fighting some weak bronze rank teams. I still don't know why Master UI is here, but I guess people really like that fucking gauge. Also, yeah, we have Blast Arm. <laughs> I did not expect him to actually sit there and take that. My original intention was to sidestep after that, but I, when I started getting hit by the Blast cards, I was like, fuck it, we'll go full screen. So, another green card, Fuse. Why does it feel like it's been forever since we feud? Oh, right, because they died in the last fight. <laughs> uh, Should have just used Blast Armor there, but we get him on the sidestep, so it's fine. And um, here's Vegito asserting dominance. That's what that was. That, that, was, that was Vegito asserting dominance. I have a hair in my mouth, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> Alright, I got it. Anyway, I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> I'm not fucking cutting that out. Y'all are gonna watch that. Or y'all are gonna listen to that. Watch the matches, damn it. Um, that's a lot of damage, but we just healed half of it immediately. And now we're gonna tag switch and heal more of it. Can, can, why is Gogeta here, first of all? Why is this old ass yellow Gogeta here? Like I said, some of these teams were duds. Not all of them are perfect. I'm in the more I'm in the North American server, and I'm not in God rank. So, you know, so shit like this is gonna happen. <laughs> but 
can someone explain to me? Just, just, just real quick. Why they needed to do all this healing on top of stacking damage a like hundred million times? Like, please. <laughs> and this is just the base form. My cards, asshole. This is just the base tag form. It can fuse. Look at them fuse. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, why is this a thing? Ugh, this unit is so broken. And usually it's the Ultras that are like this. If, honestly, if Vegito is this, I'm afraid for what the third an the third anniversary? What the hell? The sixth anniversary Ultra is going to be. Because if this is part one, I don't necessarily expect part two to be better. Like in terms of the quality of the unit, I think... I do expect Gogeta and Vegito to both be better than whatever we get for Part 2. But whatever the Ultra is for Part 3, if they're even better than Vegito, we have a problem. <laughs> because this is absurd. He's doing way too many things. And imagine if it's just like an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Could you imagine? Just add more fusions? <laughs> just the thought of how everyone would absolutely lose their minds if they actually had the balls to release a Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta who was just as, if not even better than Vegito. And instead of being a counter, he just covers Vegito. <laughs> Could you imagine if he was fucking purple? I mean, I guess it would give Gogeta some relevancy. <laughs> because right now, Gogeta really is only beating up uh, Ultra Frieza. Which is a good unit to beat the shit out of, admittedly. <laughs> I mean, he can kind of counter Gohan, but... Half the time when you're... Also, this windscreen is awesome because they switch between them depending on who you win with. But, um... I mean, Gohan can come back from not being able to use his counter, genuinely, and the assault chain just really isn't all that. I'm still going to try and pull Gogeta, but I think I mentioned this in a video that I did not upload. Um, I'm currently in the midst of doing a rotation on Gogeta. I think I'm just going to do the one, and then I'll probably save up for the rest of the anniversary, see what comes out. Um, I might also do one more rotation on Vegito if I have enough crystals. Because I would like to pull another Vegito, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Um, let me know what you guys got in your summons, by the way. I am very much interested in what you guys may have gotten. But here we go. The clash between the Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super Fusions. I mean, Vegito was in Super as well. But shut up. <laughs> the, the term still works, damn it. Super Vegito wasn't in Super. <laughs> Vegito Blue. Also, Shin does do a lot of damage. Like, I don't want anyone to come out here uh, thinking that Shin was kind of just here for the Majin Buu Saga theme. No, Shin is actually putting in work whenever I actually bring him out. But as you can see throughout this video, I 100% do not use him properly. Um, in recent matches that I've been doing, I've been using him a bit better. But in this video, like, I, w I recorded this right after pulling. Or I started recording this right after pulling these guys. So, yeah, I, I just was not really using Shin properly. Also, these teams are really annoying to fight. And there was one match that won't be in this video where I really got to see how annoying the blue Goku and Vegeta's... Oh, the yellow, blue Goku and Vegeta's... Uh, green card is because every goddamn time they use one they destroyed my green card and I drew like three of them in a row but so did they <laughs> so it was fucking annoying as shit I was like hello please he got rid of his uh his vanish though don't know why I just stood there well I mean I know why I just stood there I was hoping I'd have enough time to uh to swap out I did not however and yeah, Shin's gonna pay for it. Uh, he's getting the shit beat out of him. He's getting punched in the face. He about the Kamehameha and whatnot. He's dead. <laughs> he's 
fucking dead. No, 18. <laughs> well, he didn't sidestep, but he also... Di oh, god damn it. I, I cannot tell you how many goddamn times I did that unintentionally. I didn't even do that intentionally to try and get rid of his gauge. Just like with his cover change uh, nullification, I just straight up forgot that that's what his gauge did at certain points. Remember, this is the first time I'm actually playing the game in an entire year. Some things have slipped my mind over the past 365 days. Nice perfect vanish. God, I hate perfect vanish. <laughs> oh, I hate it so much. There's the rush. 18, get in there and give me those death buffs. <laughs> Hot damn. Also, I love how we've gotten all the way into this video, and I don't think I've made a single cut, even though I said I was going to. But that's because I've actually been able to talk the whole time. Um, but yeah, that's this video. Is there another match? I don't think there is. If I just randomly cut off, then there isn't. Uh, <laughs> there is another match! Would you look at that? <laughs> what the fuck is this team, though? <laughs> Why did I put this in the video? Why is this here? <laughs> There has to be a reason why I put this in here, because this team just looks stupid. I mean, like, the two Goku and Vegetas are fine, I guess. Also, that's not Goku and Vegeta, that's Goku and Frieza. Um, you know, they're fine. Why the hell is 21 here? Why does that make any sense at all? There has to be a reason I put this in the video. Why Why are you in here? Even I'm, even I'm intrigued. <laughs> Imagine being intrigued by your own content. Crazy. Though, to be fair, that is kind of the point, right? I don't upload content I wouldn't watch. So, um, why is this video here? I don't care what happened at this point. Uh, I'm leaving this in. Let me know what you guys think of Vegito in the comments down below, or Gogeta if you went after him. Uh, do you regret going after Gogeta after seeing Vegito in action? over the past week or so, and um, yeah, I guess I will see all of you guys, well, I'm not leaving just yet, because the match isn't over yet, but uh, I did make a promise to you guys that if I pulled Vegito to the Dragon Ball Legends content, would return, and indeed it has returned, this is not some one-off video, we will be back. Now, just like with the slime content, uh, the uploads won't be daily because I simply don't have the, uh, the emotional <laughs> fortitude to accomplish that anymore. But I also like to make my videos better now instead of just churning out content for the sake of it. So my videos are much better now as a result. And if you guys can wait a few days up to a week <laughs> for each video, then uh, go ahead, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. This video isn't edited, but at least not as much as I would have wanted it to be. But that's mainly just because it's the first one in a it's the first one in a year, first PVP grind in a year. Let's just go ahead, raw, uncut. Well, not really uncut because I cut in between the matches. But you know, let's just, let's just do this shit. Let's just do it. Let's just have the matches in here. Though in the future. The matches will be edited down significantly. Like, if a video were to end up the same length as this before editing, then it would be like a third of the length. But we'll end this with Vegito's LF, and I will see all of you guys in a few days to a week for the next video. Peace.